take earth now let us draw only liquid layer let us draw only cool liquid layer liquid means still here entire not liquid again solid is there okay now this is the point of earthquake first let us draw p waves p i will draw p waves in blue color because i am bored see p waves can anybody tell me why i am not why i am not drawing straight line why i am drawing curved line why because as you go into the earth density will change material will change see take light wave if light wave is traveling only in the air you draw straight line but from air some water again air water changing no it will change no like that is also as the density is increasing continuously increasing continuously so velocity is also continuously increasing as velocity is increasing it cannot travel straight line it will travel curve that's why i'm drawing like curve otherwise i'll draw straight line only for example if entire earth is a rubber ball rubber same same material then how will the waves travel like straight line straight line okay friends these are the p waves friends see p waves but the p wave which touches liquid it will refract do you know what is refraction refraction means when a wave changes direction because of change in the medium change in velocity it bends see it will see bends again bends for example this wave is there bends again bends for example straight wave will come straight only no bending now observe carefully friends the p waves are there p wave p wave p wave everywhere p wave the p waves are there from here entirely p waves are there suddenly stopped here again here they stopped again start from here again here is there so p waves are from here to here and again here so this zone is called shadow zone what is shadow for example standing here friend the light rays are coming light rays will be there everywhere except in my place See, you are able to see shadow the shadow is there now why the shadow is coming because light waves are not for who is stopping them stopping them so exactly in that shadow light waves will not come in all other places light waves will come similarly where wherever p waves are not there is called as shadow zone of p waves so this zone from here to here is called as shadow zone of shadow zone of p waves but friends if you want the s waves let us take s waves okay see s waves means this is the point of earthquake s waves will travel here will travel here will come here will come here they can come here but after that they can they come cannot come they cannot travel through the so s waves travel over this region this entire region is called as what enter called as shadow zone of s waves now tell me whose shadow zone is more p wave s wave s wave shadow zone is more because it cannot travel in the liquid <coughs> friends p waves shadow zone is only 120 degree s waves is far more than that far more than 120 degree okay <coughs> this is about shadow waves now <coughs> i'll tell you do you know how scientists found that liquid layer is starting at exactly 2900 how do they know <coughs> this is earth friend how do they know that exactly from 2900 that number how do they know that number how do they know from there the liquid starts based on this shadow zone only <coughs> based on the shadow zone they, from here to here based on this they are able to calculate that okay if this is the shadow zone means s waves can travel only till here s waves can travel only till here that means that is a place from where core is starting liquid core so you understood so everything in the earth liquid core where it is starting temperature 
dense everything is found from only seismic waves like that seismic waves helps everything see because how do you know liquid core is there yes waves are not traveling how do you know there are three layers because three sets of waves are there how do you know that within a layer also two parts are there discontinuities the velocity suddenly changing velocity okay 